Tell me about this John Deere. Well, this John Deere tractor was uh, YouTubers that contacted me about a week ago. That he had this tractor and he wanted to sell it. So I know what the tractor is worth, and I thought that I couldn't afford it at the time. I told him to make him make me an offer that I couldn't refuse, and he did. So I'm in Maine. <laughs> I'm in Maine picking up a John Deere 60 tractor. All righty. Now, this tractor is actually a little bit uh, rarer than most John Deere 60s because it has the factory-wide front, which they didn't make that many that were factory-wide front. So, I, when he told me the price of the, of the tractor, I figured the factory-wide front is worth every bit as, well, more than half of what I paid for the whole entire tractor. Yeah. And the rest of the value of the tractor is actually in the tires and at the tires and the front wide front paid for the rest of the tractor so even if the tractor was locked up in junk <laughs> I have to flirt with the pretty girl yeah, going got, by you gotta do that that's just, that's just a given <laughs> but even if the tractor was locked up in junk yeah the wide front and the four tires would have paid for my trip to come up and get it and it looks like it's in pretty good shape it is actually in very good shape and I could yeah. fire it up for you if you wouldn't mind oh that'd be Why great you? I'd love that that's just the plus of the whole thing. Yeah. It actually runs. Wow. <laughs> well, it does have a little bit of a battery issue, but that's kind of par for the course on something that's as old as this is. It's a 1953. Let me get that. <laughs> That's awesome. It does have a clutch issue. He used it last year in a parade. He said the thing worked great, but he didn't like to travel in the clutch handle. Yeah. So he adjusted the clutch handle, and now it won't snap in place. Yeah. So to get this thing up on the trailer, I actually had to take my foot and jam that clutch handle yeah. as far forward as I could get it to go to get it up on the trailer. And yeah. I don't know, he might even have some clutch plates burned up because of the, the adjustment that he yeah. had made. Uh, he adjusted the handle, he didn't adjust the clutch plates. Gotcha. So they're loose, and yeah. that's what the problem is. But other than that, it's a 1953. Uh, it's about, I think this tractor's 32 horsepower. Mm -hmm. But uh, it isn't. You know, 32 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot of horsepower, but in essence, that thing will, you could probably hook 10 cars together, leave them in park, and that tractor will pull them. They're unbelievable, the power that these things can produce. It's true. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, this is a gasoline model. I have one already that is a distillate model, uh -huh. which is all fuel. Uh, it burns in like a kerosene uh, diesel fuel mixture. Yeah. And, uh, this one here is actually the gasoline model. Sweet. Yeah, pretty awesome piece of equipment. Very awesome. Well, thanks for showing us. Yeah. Well, and thanks for coming to visit. Yeah, oh, hey. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> this is the second attempt and I actually made it this time. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Really happy to have you come by. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, get a ride in a rat rod, and that's something that doesn't happen every day either. There you go. <laughs> and it had clutch issues too. That's right. <laughs> but we, we got it in that in a garage. We got it in there. Oh, good. Alrighty, Ben.